Why shoot film? In our growing world of more pixels, digital devices released every month. Shooting film allows us to slow down and take in the moment. It's changed my approach to digital photography and I find the process super fun. So how do you shoot 35mm film? First, you're going to need a 35mm camera. I recommend SLR cameras for beginners because they are easy to use and will get you quality images. Next, you're going to need film. Film stocks come in many different speeds called ISO. The higher the ISO, the more sensitive and grainier the image will be. Choose a low speed film for daylight conditions and a high speed film for darker conditions. They come in 24 or 36 exposures. To insert the film into the camera, lift the back cover release knob, place the film with the L shape facing down, and push the release knob to secure the film in place. Next, insert the film into the spool. Make sure the cutouts of the film and the sprockets line up. Advance the film and take a photo. Look at your exposure counter and advance the film until it reaches zero. Before you take pictures, set the camera ISO to the speed of your film. Set your camera to aperture shutter priority and your camera will tell you what settings to choose. For color film, I recommend overexposing by half a stop to a stop to retain shadow detail. After you're done shooting, press the release button on the bottom of your camera and rewind your film using the rewind lever until you feel no more resistance. Lift the back door release button and retrieve your film. Be careful when opening up the camera because the film will be ruined if exposed to light before developing. You can develop your film in two ways. Number one, send your film to a photo lab. The lab will develop it for you and you can have the option to scan it or print your photos. Number two, you can develop it yourself. It is costly but will save you lots of money in the long run. I recommend watching how to develop color film by Will and Furby. It's a great tutorial made by one of the film gods. If you choose to develop your film yourself, you may choose to scan it yourself as well. To scan your film, you're going to need a flatbed scanner. This is different from your ordinary printer scanner. The best recommended process is to scan it as a positive image and then convert it with a plug-in negative lab pro in Lightroom. And there you go, you just learned how to shoot 35mm film. Now get out there and start shooting.